Okay, everybody, uh, back here with another video on carabiners. So I had uh, some of my viewers from my last video. Thanks for all the support uh, on my last video that you gave, by the way. So I had some people ask a question about uh, what do you do if the spring here, I showed how to reinsert the spring. Not Well, I guess not reinsert the thing. I showed everybody how to push this. If this had slipped off the gate on the inside there, I showed people how to reattach it up into this little ledge right here. But some people were asking how, one lady in particular was asking, what do you do if this spring has fallen completely out? And so I, I did an explanation. It was hard to explain it all in the comment section. So I, I thought I'd do another video on this to demonstrate how to do it. One of the common reasons how this might happen is the gate here can slip out past slip out past like that and when that does it can sometimes make it slip out but th these can things can sometimes fall out anyway so i wanted to show you how to get this done here so the first thing i'd say to do just to make it a little bit easier would be to actually just slide it pivot a little bit past there it should be able to do it without bending these uh bending the bars there on either side too much so take a pair of pliers and you'll notice on this piece that there is a fat side that I'm grabbing right here now. If I can grab that. A fat side and a skinny side. You'll also notice when you pull it out, as I drop it, you'll also notice that there is there is a bend to it. And so two things you want to note is first of all, the uh, small piece, the small end goes up inside. It goes up inside the gate. So this is going to get shoved back up inside there now there is if you look here see if i can get something to point with here. here's a pen if you notice here on this it gets a little wider right in this area right here before it gets skinny so it's fatter here and then it gets really fatter in here and skinny in here this fat part is supposed to help it stay in there better um, sometimes since it gets used a lot it might get a little worn out and not holding it in there as well but you you just shove that up inside that hole there you got to kind of work it up in there. You, you got to get past that fatter part there that's supposed to help it stay in there. If you open this gate too much, you'll push it past the, the end piece right here. You don't want to do that. So you kind of just get it started to get it worked up in there. It, it would be too hard to show you the inside up in there, what it looks like. So we're going to push this gate past, get it started there. And then we're going to start, like I said, I think I mentioned in the notes and in the last video that using a pair of pliers to kind of help get this in, like you need one of those pliers, it's really better so you can hold it steadily as you do this. But you got to get that thick part up in there first. So we're going to kind of work that. Make sure the gate's on this side. You can kind of twist it just a little bit so it has a little bit more space to go in. You can see how far I've got it in right there. Now, the heavier part is already up in there. We're going to work it in more. Shove it up in there. And it will just actually, that other skinnier end will actually just slide up into the right spot that it needs to go to. So you don't need to worry too much about that. So I've got a uh, smaller screwdriver here that we're going to use to try to help us do this. So again, in the other video, once you get it up in there like that, you're just shoving it up in pushing it down onto that ledge just like before okay well if you're not all the way on that ledge it'll slip out again so i think i've got a little bit more to go here to get that in i don't think it clips or anything i did feel it go back up in there you can actually kind of see just a little bit let me get a kind of a pointer screwdriver more you can see again that ledge right there I get closer, you probably see it better. You can see the edge of that ledge right there and that thing slipping in just behind it. So that's, uh, again, we're all good. It might be sitting in there a little crooked, but that's how you fix the spring on that carabiner. Hey, there you go, it settled in better. If it's not exactly on that angle, that's one of the weak things about these smaller these smaller carabiners is uh, they don't always align with this. And so that's why if they get jammed sideways, 
that's what can make it trip out. Um, if you're really worried about it, you can see this is flared just a little bit right here. You can see those are not, that'll focus, you can see those are not exactly parallel. So what I do in that case, take my needle and those pliers and just squish that down a little bit. Squish that down so it sits more parallel. And so that as they wear out and they get whiter, <clears throat> they uh, as they wear out and get whiter, they can start to flare like that. And so I'm going to push this on either side. i got to get those bent down straighter. So as long as this guide here, as long as the, those are sitting parallel, it usually sits. Yeah, there we go. Now that that's there, <clears throat> it's sitting parallel. That's just another tip I wanted to include in here is that uh, if your gate is not shutting straight here and it's going to the side, that'll be kind of a warning sign that the, that uh, spring is going to flip out. And so if it's not going in straight to your gate like that, just on its own, there's a higher risk it's going to go to the side. And so all you do, again, I showed you this before, all you do is crimp this down, grab just below those hinges, crimp that down with a pair of pliers. If it's not going flat there, then I would open it up. And if you push this in this way, as you're clamping, It'll go ahead and bend that part straighter, and so that's what I did there to make it, to fix it there so the gate's closing straight. As I push this way, and then I also push this way, and it kind of put a little bit, it put a little bit of a bend back in this, in that area there, and this area here on the, on the orange part. Put a little bit of bend so that you can see how that's sitting straighter. And then, you're all much more likely to go in straight. So that's how to fix it if the spring comes all the way out. So I uh, appreciate your comments. I love your comments in the last video. Not all my videos, but any feedback you had, I appreciate it. And um, I encourage you to uh, like it, subscribe as well. Appreciate support in the comments that you've made. I'm, I'm glad that these are helpful. And hopefully this uh, fixing this gate thing, or actually replacing the spring completely inside when it's come out. Hopefully that'll help you. And uh, see you again in the next video.